Welcome to Dr. Mary Ann Block, Medical Detective. Dr. Block is the Medical Director of the Block Center, an international clinic for the treatment of chronic health problems in children and adults. She is the mom who went to medical school at age 39 to save her daughter. She is a top-selling author of eight books. She is a physician who has helped thousands for over 20 years. She is a tireless advocate who speaks about the dangers of psychiatric drugs. And now, welcome Dr. Marianne Block, medical detective. Hi, I'm Dr. Marianne Block. Today I want to talk about your thyroid gland and your weight. I see so many women in my medical practice that tell me they can't lose weight. They're overweight to start with. They tell me they've tried exercising, they've tried dieting, they've tried exercise and dieting together, and they still can't lose weight. They tell me they think there's something wrong with their thyroid gland, but every time their other doctor does lab tests for their thyroid, they always come back normal. Now, the thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland in our neck. And it's a very important gland. In fact, we refer to it as the master gland. It's that important. It runs everything in our, in our whole body. But those women might be correct. They may have a thyroid problem, and the lab test is what's wrong. Here's why. For this demonstration, this container of water is going to be the pituitary gland. And this one is going to be the rest of the body. Now the pituitary gland takes up thyroid hormone very easily. In fact, it's called passive diffusion. Let's say this coffee here is your thyroid hormone. So when your thyroid hormone goes to your pituitary gland, it simply diffuses into the pituitary gland and is completely thoroughly in the gland. There's no difficulty. It just goes straight there. But when the thyroid hormone tries to go to the rest of the body, it's not a passive diffusion. It's an active diffusion. It has to be pushed through a membrane, which I'm going to use these filters to demonstrate that. So when the thyroid hormone tries to go to the body, it gets there, but not quite as easily as it does to the pituitary gland. And why this is really important is because thyroid blood tests only measure the thyroid hormone uptake in the pituitary gland. It doesn't measure it in the rest of the body. So we have this very easy process and there's plenty of thyroid hormone in the pituitary so the blood test says you're normal. However, the rest of the body is more challenging, so you can be completely hypothyroid in the rest of your body and be normal in the pituitary gland. And if that's not enough, we have numerous medical conditions that actually interfere with the thyroid function and make it diff even more difficult to function properly. So let me show you what a few of those are. Uh, migraines. If you have migraines, it interferes further with your ability to function uh, with your thyroid gland. If you have anxiety, if you have inflammation, if you have chronic infections, Neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, these can interfere with the function of your thyroid gland and your thyroid uptake in the rest of your body. If you have fatigue, if you feel depressed, if you're under stress, if you have cardiovascular disease, every one of these things can interfere with thyroid function. And what if you have several of them? What if you have two or three or four of these things? Another one is aging. We're all aging. We are older today than we were yesterday. So if aging impacts our thyroid, it has the ability to impact all of us. And then, of course, there's dieting. 
So these women are right. If they are dieting, they're actually interfering with their thyroid function. And it's even harder for their thyroid to work. It slows down the metabolism of the whole body. And they gain weight, or it's very difficult to lose weight. And the dieting actually makes it worse, makes it harder to do, as do all these other symptoms. So when you add on a few of these, we try to get that thyroid hormone into the rest of the body, it's a lot more difficult because it's got a lot more challenges to get through. Eventually, you'll see some drops getting through there. But the thyroid gland is measured by what's in the pituitary gland. And so every blood test that's run only tells us what's in the pituitary gland for your thyroid hormone. And as we saw, passive diffusion is easy. There's plenty of thyroid hormone in that pituitary gland. But in the rest of the body, there may not be enough to function. And we can have all those symptoms that I mentioned earlier. And the blood test will still be normal. So it's important to always look for a doctor who's going to take the time to find the cause of your problem, treat that, and not just cover symptoms with drugs. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode of Dr. Marianne Block, Medical Detective.